What happens if you swallow gum? 10 minutes of chewing gum daily helps to remove about 100 million bacteria from your teeth. In addition, the gum provides a balanced load for the muscles used in chewing, provides massage for the gums, and stimulates the secretion of gastric juice. Although doctors advise only chewing gum immediately after eating and for no longer than 5 minutes, this is so that excessive secretion of gastric juice does not lead to an ulcer or gastritis. The original gum was wood resin, which was chewed for thousands of years by the Mayan tribes, Native Americans, and the ancient Greeks. The base of the modern gum is a synthetic polymer, which consists of a mixture of elastomers, resins, fats, emulsifiers, and wax. To the base of gum, these ingredients added in different combination. An extract taken from sapodilla juice with a sap of coniferous trees, syrups, sweeteners, preservatives, and flavor additives. But the chewing gum is not a durable material. Even if you step on gum, it won't be stuck to the asphalt forever. So what happens if you swallow gum? The strongest fear is that gum will stick to the walls of your stomach as if to the sole of a shoe and require surgery to remove it. But will this really happen? Even in the mouth, the body begins to prepare food for processing using saliva, and then acts on it through the gastric juice and muscles of the stomach walls. Under the influence of these factors, sweeteners and other additives contained in the gum are spit. After spending one to two days in your stomach, the base will be removed from the body naturally. In rare cases, chewing gum components can provoke an allergic reaction causing spasms, constipation, or have a laxative effect. Problems are more likely if a large amount of chewing gum is swallowed. Are you still worried that chewing gum is bad for your health? Do not stress about it because stress is also harmful for health. Have you ever swallowed gum? How did your stomach react? And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like, and let us know in the comments which types of gum are your favorite.